Hey everyone, April Dunham here. In today's video, I want to show you how you can use one form control for both the new and the edit form. This is something that's really extremely simple, but I find most people just don't realize you can do. I see a lot of people creating separate screens and separate form controls for the new and the edit. Um, why in some cases that may be warranted if the new and the edit screens are vastly different. If they're really the same, why not use them in the same form control? What we're looking at here is a simple power app that I created for project initiation. As you can see, this landing screen is fairly simple. We have a gallery control with the list of projects. Within that gallery control, we have an arrow that will take us to the edit form. And on the left hand side, we have a plus icon. And if you click that, it'll take you to the new form. If we run this app, we'll see if we click the plus button and the symbol button, then that'll take us to the new entry screen of the project ideation form. If we go back to home and click the arrow with an existing item, we see that it changes that form to the edit form and the data is all filled out for us. Now we're going to go back to our app and we're going to walk through how to implement this functionality. The first step is to go to your landing screen. In the landing screen, as we discussed before, we have the plus icon that takes you to the new and the arrow that takes you to the edit. If we click on the arrow that takes you to the edit, you'll see in the formula on the on select, we have a formula to set var mode to value edit. So what we're doing here is setting a global variable called var mode to edit because this it should take you to the edit screen. If we click the plus button and look at the on select formula there, we're setting that same global variable var mode to new because that should take you to the new screen. We're going to use these global variables later on to implement this functionality. So that's all for the first step on the landing screen. The next thing that we need to do is go to our form in this screen here and we're going to select our form control. In the form control, we need to go to the on visible property and do a little formula here to implement this functionality. When I said earlier that this functionality was very simple to implement, I wasn't kidding. This is the very simple function that we're using to change the form modes. As you can see, here's where we're using that global variable that we set in the previous step, that var mode. We have a simple if statement that says if var mode equals edit, then we're using the edit form function and passing in the name of our form on that screen. If it's not edit, that means it should be a new form. So we're using the new form function and passing in the name of the same form. So as you can very simple, edit form changes the mode of the form to edit mode. New form changes the mode of the form to new. There is also another uh, function that we didn't list here called display form, and that will change the mode of the form to display or view only. So you could also implement that in here if that's something that you need to do. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. As it, again, it's very simple, but I find that just a lot of people don't realize that this is something that you can do. It'll help you save time and limit the amount of screens and forms that you have to have in your Power Apps. If this was helpful, uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.